Hey, what's up? Cage Superman here with another quick review. Uh, this is the 85th year of Marvel, and this is the Wolverine out of the Legends series. I've never bought any Marvel figure ever, and that's the honest truth. So this will be my first one to review. Uh, take a look, quick look at the box. Now, if you're still searching for this, uh, ask the Target employees because they are in the back. They don't have, even have them on the shelf yet. Here's the barcode. So let me get them out of the package and we'll take a look at them. All right, so here it is out of the package. You have the masked head. You've got open palm, right hand. You have two fists. Well, two fists there. You have one pointer finger. Then you have the bladed hands. You have bicep and shoulder swivel. You've got double jointed elbows and wrist swivel. You have butterfly joints that come in nicely. I kind of wish McFarland would pick up on these because his are kind of crappy. Uh, you've got thigh swivel. You can almost completely Van Dam split. You have a really good ab crunch. And then you can come back to about there. So not far back, because you're very limited back here by the back. Uh, you have a flexible shoulder pads. You've got double jointed knees, really tight. You got rockers on the ankles, pivot front and back. And overall, nice figure. It's actually a little more rubbery than I thought it would be as far as like the legs go. Uh, I thought marble were usually a more uh, harder plastic, kind of like the old school. Uh, I believe Hasbro used to make them for quite a while, but let's swap out the heads here. And then we'll pose him next to a diamond select blade. And you can see a massive height difference. Let me move this over so you can see. So Wolverine, I'd say, is a little small when it comes to trying to size them up with Marvel Select from Diamond Select, uh, but it's a totally different scale. So you have, you know, what, probably inch and a half, maybe, yeah, about an inch and a half to inch and three quarter height difference. Uh, but the Diamond Select, you're, you're, you don't have as good as articulation as you do the Hasbro. Uh, this blade figure, though, is actually really cool. So if you want to, check out my other video for that one. But overall, I'm happy with the Wolverine being the first Hasbro figure that I have purchased. Uh, and I'll do some poses at the end of the video here so you can see how extreme you can make the figure. Granted, there's other reviews on YouTube already. I'm a little late to the game, but I just found this today and it's been kind of hard to find because target sucks anymore so please leave a like or a dislike and let me know what you think of the figure later